So next point in our study is uh, concerning uh, Israel. Doon sa chapter 19, verse uh, uh, 6. At uh, sinasabi doon ng Panginoon through Prophet Moses that the people Israel, the nation of Israel, shall be a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Okay? Kinakailangan sila'y maging kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Ano yung bisaya ng kingdom of priests? Hindi naman lahat ay priests kasi ang priesthood ay nandun sa lineage ni the Levites. They were the priests. But uh, Hashem uh, spoken to Prophet Moses that the Israelites, as a nation, they will become a kingdom of priests. Meaning to say, that all of them will serve Hashem to the utmost of their their ability and capability. They have to serve. They must serve Hashem. And this service ay ito yung pagsunod sa kanyang mga laws. Pagsunod sa kanyang tura. This is their service following what has been commanded by God through prophet Moses. Okay? And so, they also become a holy nation. Sila ay nabubukod tangit sa katawagang ito. But, when this will happen? Kailan ito mangyayari? mangyayari, mayroon itong kondisyon, mayroong if doon sa verse 5, uh, if you obey my commandments, okay, then, you will become a peculiar people, and you shall be a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. So, mayroong ano eh, mayroong, mayroong if. So, mangyayari lamang ang, ang pagiging kingdom of priests and holy nation ng Israel when they obey the commandments of God. So, that's the time that they will become a holy nation. That they will become a kingdom of priests. Kaya nga sinasabi, ang kingdom of priests, they are serving Hashem by obeying His commandments. So, napakahalaga po ito, no? Although, the, itong covenant na ito, itong, itong uh, commandments na ito, or calling na ito is for the Israelites. But also, there is, uh, there is uh, a, a passage doon sa Genesis chapter 12 na ang buong mundo ay mapapagpala lamang kay Abraham at kay Israel. Doon sa lahi na yun. The whole earth will be blessed in Abraham and in Israel. That is why uh, it is uh, acceptable if other nation will come and join Israel. If they will convert to them. No, walang pinagkaiba po yan doon sa ano eh. Yung sa immigration policy sa panahon ngayon na uh, Yung iba gustong gustong maging Amerikano kahit taga saang bansa sila And they adapt that citizenship Okay? In that time mayroong mixed multitude Sa ngayon sa ating mga previous parsha na ating pag-aaral Na sumali, sumama sa bayang Israel Mixed multitudes and they are not Israelites Some of them were Egyptians And that means the ang uh, ang uh, pagkakaroon ng grasya, biyaya in accordance with the calling of Hashem is through Abraham and through Israel, Jacob. Okay. So this the calling of the calling of uh, Hashem to Israel and his covenant na sila ay magiging holy nation and the kingdom of priests is 
uh, pursuant to their obedience to the Torah, pursuant to the calling and the obedience of the commandments of God. That is why every time that they will they commit a, a transgression or sin or violations against the edict of God, eh, during that time nung nandun na sila sa promised land, eh, sila ay napapalisan sa promised land. Okay? Because there is a consequence for everything that we do against God. Okay? Thank you.